In our previous lesson, we talked about machining this keyway in uh, at a specific angle in relationship to this flat. And I told you on the last lesson that I was going to uh, show you how to measure the depth of that keyway. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do it. And um, I think the one I'm going to show you is probably the most repeatable and the most accurate. And again, um, this is my idea. Uh, if you have a better one, please share it with us. And uh, I have no problem with that. But, you know, uh, it's a little tough to measure. And you know about the extra slot. Okay, that's another story. But um, a little tough to catch the top of this and drop an indicator in there. Now, if you have a thin point and you find the bottom of it, it'll work, uh, a drop indicator, right? So you'd have to find the center of this, make sure this is indicated perfectly straight and find the depth from the top of the shaft down to the bottom of the keyway. Well, there's a much easier way to do that. And I'm gonna switch over to AutoCAD right now and show you how I do this and it repeats every time. And uh, you'll have a little tool to use in the future also. So let's get started with that. So here we are in AutoCAD, and here's a, a little sketch of this shaft, okay? So the small diameter where the keyway is located is 623 thousandths in diameter. You can see there's the keyway depth of 111 thousandths, and I actually get 5 thousandths on that. It's 111 plus 5 minus nothing. So we kind of shoot for maybe 113, okay? So um, here's the secret here. See this little disc down here? So this is a 5 16 ejector pin, and uh, I cut it off a little thicker than an eighth of an inch and then ground it to about 123 thousandths thickness. You don't want to press this thing in here. You don't want to get stuck, right? So um, this needs to slide in there. So let's see how we're going to measure. You're going to see this, right? You get it. So if I select this and hit uh, move, and hopefully this all works right. There we go. Grab that tangent point and find the bottom of the radius right there. Now all we have to do, can I get rid of that? Uh, keyboards, key, key cuts don't work when I'm recording. So all we have to do though, simply is measure over the disc and the shaft and it's 823 thousandths. And there you have it. Very accurate way to check that. Now, this disc I made was a bit of a pain, right? You got a 5 16 ejector pin and you're cutting this thing off and it's extremely thin and uh, to not lose it when you cut it off. And then I put it up in a grinder and I'll show you two pictures then right now. Uh, one is how I had to grind this thing. You know, when you put something small on your magnet, there's not a lot of magnetism there, right? There's just not enough uh, surface area for the magnet to really grab it. So I block it up uh, with uh, some thin parallels. And then I'll show you another picture in a second after that of what it looks like when I'm measuring over that. So, as again, I already said, uh, this is how I do it. Uh, I have seen our QC department do some crazy things to try to measure uh, keyway depths like this. This is works the best, in my opinion. I've seen them pour wax in there and try to put it on the comparator. I don't trust the wax stuff. I mean, I know they got to do it sometimes, but this is a hard dimension guaranteed to put you in the right place.